first time I've seen him play since when he was in uh, during the Smash 4 days. So we'll see if he decides to if he's still going with the Meta Knight or what character he's going to pick here. But of ribs, I don't see him going anything else than Ness, and I find that, and that is correct. So, S2H sticking with the Meta Knight. This character used to just up air you off the top and kill you like this. Uh, the the way that Meta Knight worked in the previous game was like finding those dash attacks and the up airs. He hasn't changed that much, but I feel feel like he's rounded out a little more. Um, you, you see those F smashes are so good in neutral that he goes for it all the time. Or, usually. Okay, gets that drag down, jab lock set up, which is pretty nice. Gets a solid 20% on him. Um, so both of these characters have disjoint. I, in terms of uh, aerials, I think, I believe that, uh, that uh, Meta Knight really... <laughs> Unfortunate SD right there, but Meta Knight has a little more uh, ability to. Excuse me. Has a little more ability. Or, or is not as good uh, with his disjoints. Like the fair that. Uh, that Ness has. Okay, crazy offstage interaction here. Ribs is just barely gonna make it back though. Just for the F smash. Maybe a little greedy there, but you're up, so you might as well go for something like that. And that F smash is a great move. It's so hard to punish. Um, okay. Yeah, but so Ness's uh, forward air covers a lot of space. Uh, in the air, I feel like Ness is just a little better. But uh, Meta Knight has those grab. He's looking for those grabs and those dash attacks. If he can catch a landing of a ribs or get him above him where he can just kind of spam those up airs, Meta Knight really can thrive. Um, because it's a fast move, it's disjointed, and it can cover a lot of space. Um, so, Silent Hunter is going to be looking to get Ribs above him so he can do things like that. Um, but, he's got so much of a lead right now, and he, all he needs is a little more to close this out. Back there, oh wow, okay. They did nerf that move, but it is still strong enough to get that kill there. They also kind of change the trajectory it sent, sends your opponent at, so it sends them a little higher. Um, it's so it's not like a direct back throw, like uh, you kill. It's not going to kill off the sides really, uh, like in the previous game where that would lead a lot of to just wait for you at the edge and like try to back throw you. Okay, Rip's trying to use these PK fires. He's noticed that S2H is is approaching from the ground a little more trying to grab him and stuff. But S2H has caught on to this strategy and he is not biting anymore. But he is going to run in and get grabbed there, so maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Alright. Up throw, I mean da down air there, leading up. Uh, air dodge the ledge there. Okay, kind of a wonky interaction with that PK Thunder. And... Yeah, I, I feel like both these characters have a lot to lose from running in, so... All right, Nair killing there. Calls out the jump getup. But I, yeah, so a lot of these characters, these characters have a lot to lose from running in there. So especially at the high percent like that, they were just kind of waiting each other out. So Ribs down a game. We'll see what kind of adjustments he can make. I imagine he will be staying at Ness and that S2H will be staying. Uh, Meta Knight. Okay, yeah, <laughs> the head shake there. He did not mean to pick that character. Um, but yeah, seeing as how, what a commanding lead S2H was able to build in that game, it's very likely he'll be playing Meta Knight. <laughs> and he is. Down for the fair, not quite connecting there. Um, good string there coming out from ribs on some early damage, making a statement that he is not out of this game yet. You still have to take another game from me, my friend. Alright, Nair out of shield. Um, seems like maybe he would have gotten more with Crab, but I don't know that much about this character. Oh, falls into that up smash. Very unfortunate. Um, with those multiple jumps I, that uh, Meta Knight has and the disjoints, it can be hard for uh, Ness to make it back. 
so um, good stuff to Ribs for be being able to make it back there. Um, and uh, I think uh, an important way, uh, a win condition here for, for S2J is not only to just carry this character off the top, but to be able to knock him off. That's why you see him going for so much of these F smashes, because if you can get him off stage, he's got a pretty good shot just to take the, sh the stock. Okay, nice tech from Ribs. Going to avoid that F smash. Uh, wouldn't have killed, but again, would have put him in a bad spot where he would have likely died. And S2H. Okay, missed times that a little bit. Or not a little bit, but a lot. I don't really know what he was going there. But he's got him off stage again. And, oh, he had him right there, but unfortunately whiffing right there. And uh, Rips is... Uh, really capitalized on S2H's mistakes here. He's already almost killed uh, S2H here, and if he gets the stock, he's uh, almost guaranteed the game at this point, but S2H catching him with that down smash is going to give him a good shot at this, saying this is not over yet. Uh, and S2H in a bad spot here. I love the use of that PK fire there, catches the, um, the side B there. Uh, Could have easily Bu uh, caught a buffered roll or something like that and just caused S2H to die. Uh, back throw definitely will kill. As we saw earlier, that's a great kill option from Ness there. Okay. <laughs> S2H just holding that charge, hoping Ribs will give it to him again. Uh, but Ribs not going to make the same mistake from last game. Okay, goes to the Cake Thunder at ledge. This PK fires. So many PK fires. S2H is taking a lot of damage. If he doesn't do something. Okay, yeah, he needed that edge guard right there. Um, without it, I think this game is going to slip out of his grasp and we'll have a game free here. But we'll see. Nothing is over until that final stock goes away. Uh, nice air dodge at ledge there, Ribs. Uh, from Ribs. <laughs> it's like I'm talking to him. He's not even here. Um, okay, he's full, full fledge. PK fire. Okay, into down smash. Yeah. These uh, tech chases from. Or these uh, drag down back airs from S2H have been pretty good. Uh, Ribs has made a few of those techs, though. I imagine as this game goes forward, he'll be more comfortable with making that in the future. So, uh, for our S2H, I would, would have wanted to close this game out. Uh, and hopefully, I'm, I'm, I'd be hoping right now that I can close it out right now. Okay, yeah, Ribs is uh, really use li utilizing everything he can in Ness's toolkit in, in, able to, in order to make it back. Uh, and gets that back throw again, killing. Really, really frustrating to die to some of those throws sometimes. Um, but, I think... I mean, it's just the character, man. You gotta, you gotta watch out for those grabs. Now, game three. We've seen Ribs make some adaptations, uh, but I, I think that S2H has some opportunities there, especially with those early edge guards where Ribs was right where he wanted him, and. Um, he just couldn't capitalize. I think that could have been an entirely diff different game if he was able to do that. So we're going to game three here, and I really feel like this could be either player's game. But S2H starting out pretty strong, but not going to get that much damage for it. Okay, Prince tries to get him with those up airs, knowing it'll lead to big damage. Up air uh, doesn't quite get the second one. He's just a little too high for that. Okay, going to get another grab here. Sends him off stage. Okay, back air. S2H is now having a lot of trouble getting back to stage. He can get back thrown again and will barely live there. Okay, great edge guard with the PK fire there. Or PK thunder, I should say. And just, wow, that enough was, a was able to put him in a kill percent there. So good stuff for ribs and, and just finding that extra damage to secure that kill. Very smart from him. And it's uh, looking like Ribs has figured S2H out at this point. Uh, but we'll see if S2H can fire back. That window for him to take this game is slowly, slowly closing. 
Um, he's got Rids in a bad spot, but unable to get the kill there. Uh, until he does that. Yeah, such a risky move there. Um, but SUH knew he needed to make something to do something to turn this game around. And uh, I feel the momentum start to switch a little bit right now as SUH finds another opening. <laughs> S2H going for a few high reads there, trying to just uh, get some work done on this mess. Down tilt. Okay, goes for some kind of follow up there that is not true and pays for it, but unfortunately not going to be able to, not going to be punished that hard. Okay, S2H at the ledge now. I think we're really seeing uh, Ribs manage to get a lot more off of the ledge play here um, and uh, I th unless we see oh wow that was so close unless we see that start to change I think uh, that will definitely be the deciding factor in this game and wow was that forward air into up smash there what a crazy conversion there from ribs going to put him in a great spot right now just outside a kill percent uh, just inside a kill percent now S2H Yes, Uppy. Okay, nerfed a little bit, and that's not going to kill. Um, at least since the last game. Oh, gets a... Oh, he just needed a down smash there. I wonder if that was a miss input. Okay, tech situation. Tries to get the roll in, but it's not going to give it to him. All right, S2H playing patient right here. Okay, and the patience pay is off. He's able to sneak that back air in there and get the down smash, but... Is it too late? Has he taken too much damage here? Oh, it's a close one, boys and girls. Down throw, this is gonna lead into some up airs. It's gonna lead to a lot of up airs. Wow, 44% just from that grab. Meta Knight still has the ability to juggle for a while. And uh, Ribs is sweating a little bit right now. It felt like this was his game, but unless he can make something on this happen on this edge guard, he's gotta really work to Close this out. Okay, okay. Jab, he's off stage again. SUH burns all of his jumps. Knowing Rib wants to catch him landing and jabs him enough to get. Oh, wow. He needed one more jab there. And I think he couldn't go for it because SUH was going to be able to smash out there. Uh, all right, F smash. Now Ness is the one off stage. Can he finally get an edge guard here? No. Oh, he goes for it all oh, with the down B read there. S2H is not happy about that one. Felt like he got maybe a little greedy there. He just bet it all on that down B. 